This is a very quick video showing you what I've recently found on a day's detecting in North Yorkshire um, near Thirsk. These are all buttons, all different sizes, all different weights, some older than others. This one looks very old. Some of them look reasonably new. I'm sure one of them had Wrangler written on, so it came off a pair of jeans, but that's a pretty good selection of buttons, which shows there's been plenty of people in the fields. There's a few buckles here. Again, some will be older than others. This is quite a nice one. It's actually still got the pin in, which is good. Not often you find them with the pin in. Few little knickknacks there. This looks like it's been off a pocket watch or something. The top of this actually swivels. You know, you can imagine a, a watch hanging on that. It may not be a watch strap though, you never know. That's a strap end. You can't really see the engraving on it, but it's got some markings on. It's folded over at the back there, that would be a strap to keep people's clogs on. There's Possibly another strap end, although I'm not entirely sure. It might be the end of a spoon or something. Engraved. Just general bits of... These are really just rubbish. This looks like it's come off a modern tarpaulin or something. You know, like a ring eyelet, I'm not sure. Different size rings. Could be off machinery. Again, I don't know what that is. Most of these could be off machinery. This looks like it's come out of a really old lock or something. Again, don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. That is... I'm familiar with these fellas. Not sure what caliber it is. Obviously, without the casing on, you can't really tell uh, unless you've actually used these yourself. But probably 303, 308 caliber. I wouldn't like to get hit by it anyway. This is a ring. This is actually the first ring I found. I haven't been detecting that long. And this has engravings on the inside of it. Very difficult to see. Um, cannot really see. But it's basically made from an old coin. The coin was rolled and then fastened together. Might just about be able to tell where there's a little line there where it was actually pressed together and squashed together. So that's most likely made of copper or some sort of copper alloy. Not very old though, it says Georgia, so it's early 1900s. Various lumps of lead, that's a spindle whirl, not a particularly good one. Sometimes you get really beautiful shaped ones, you know, shaped a little bit like UFOs, lots of nice lines and patterns on. Uh, this one isn't so good. It's probably been turned over a million times by the plough. Don't know what that is. These are bag seals. You'd have a, say, a bag of corn or something. You'd tie the top pass the two ends of string through here and crimp this flat to keep it locked shut. I suppose it would be used to crimp all sorts of other things together. So there's five of those. I thought they were lead tokens at first but they turn out to be seals. Musket ball, that's another lump of lead. I always like finding musket balls. And there's a selection of coins as well. These are pretty much nondescript ones. Believe it or not, that is a modern one pence in horrendous state. Absolutely horrendous. When it was wet you could just about make out what it was. And that, that must have been subject to so many agricultural chemicals that it's just destroyed it. That's an old penny, early 1900s. That's a half penny, ship penny from, I think it was 1940 something, that's in horrendous state as well. That looks like a hammered, really old hammered coin. Cannot find out what it is, it's not silver. That's a farthing from the early 1900s. Again, in terrible condition. These two are hammered copper Charles I Scottish two pences. You can just about make out the crown there and see R. They're actually better than average. You normally find them and they cannot read anything on them. That's a George III sixpence. 
which looks like it's been hit by something or other, possibly the plough. I've cleaned it up. Shock horror, I know it reduces the value, but if it's going to go in a collection, I'd like to see what it is. I'll actually give this one to my son. I tend to only collect like really perfect ones. And that's a George the Sixth shilling. I haven't got one of those in my collection, so that's a quite a collectible piece. Again, I've cleaned it up. Still got little bits of black uh, discoloration on there, but it's it's quite a good grade coin. I was pleased to find that. So all of that was found in a day out of two ploughed fields in North Yorkshire, and it's pretty much a cross section of what you're likely to find in English fields that have been worked for a long time. Thanks for watching.